all can see here, I have a vice. Now, I went a state sailing the other day, and I found this thing sitting just like this in the dirt, half buried. And uh, they were so desperate to get rid of this thing that they just gave it to me. Now, that goes to show, for any of you who are starting out looking for tools, that it can be surprisingly easy sometimes. But, if you still live with your parents, uh, it can still be a bit difficult to get the garage space for a day when you're going to be making a mess. So I'm using a uh, demolished pool as my workspace for today with uh, <clears throat> only the most premium of hardwoods as my makeshift workbench and uh, whatever tools I have out in my shop. I might have to go back to the garage for a few. So to start off, I have gloves just to keep my hands clean, got delicate hands, uh, a few different grinding discs and a wire brush for my angle grinder right here, uh, some safety glasses, a, a must, uh, respirator, also a must if you're making dust and debris like that. Uh, we'll see how far that can get us, because these jaws right now are basically rust welded together. Not sure what's going on inside the, the sliding the sliding mechanism area but I'm not excited for it so uh, we pro we'll probably have to replace this handle uh, it feels like one solid mass of steel right now so I, <sighs> no time like the present I guess so I'm gonna start out by just Kind of scrape off all this loose stuff um, and I'll take the wire brush and then I'll clean up the rest of it and then uh, I'm gonna try and get these two jaws uh, separated as soon as possible so that's my plan Quick progress report. Uh, I finally got the sandal to turn a little bit. Uh, if I hit it or kick it, you can see that right there. So uh, that's progress. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm done hitting it like a maniac for now. I think I'm gonna move on to the uh, wire brush and uh, start going to town on it. Uh -huh. I can finally see daylight through these jaws. Uh, considering the state that it has been in, I take this as a as an absolute win. Out of an act 
of desperation and frustration, I am going to attempt um, a feat of pure uh, redneck. Need my keys. Um, I must ask that no one tries this at home and that um, if you do, um, I wasn't the one to give you the idea. What I have here <clears throat> is a jack and uh, I think you guys know where I'm going with this. So uh, let's give her a go. So that did uh, diddly squat onto uh, I don't know I'll think of something new this is what it has come down to I have this sitting on top of a post and uh, I don't know I'll figure something out in a second act of desperation I have resorted to ham all the uh, slidey parts, seeing that I've run out of WD-40. Yes! So finally, after about three hours, I finally have Mr. and Mrs. Jaw successfully divorced so what I've discovered besides the uh, years of just absolute dirt and grime is that this threaded tube is in fact not actually attached to Mr. Jaw here and held in by this pin it seems so that's my next mission trying to get this pin out um, if worse comes to worst, I'll just cut it off and make a new one. So I ended up cutting it in two. And after I did that, I hit it a little bit and I realized the hole goes all the way through. So I could have, if I just cleaned up the bottom, could have discovered that earlier. But it's not that big of a deal. It's just a rod. I can make another one. And then over here, we have this part that's seems like it's ready to come out and it is covered in black grease um, here let me try some let me try and see if it will just wiggle out on its own and, uh, it looks like it's not so I might have to tap that a few times as well uh, I'll get back to you on that. So um, it looks like it's coming out no problem. We can probably just use this from now on. Just to... Yeah, it's coming pretty easily. Um, so I think after I get this out, it'll be all ready to go for cleaning and all that. So, um... Uh, 
I'll meet you back when I'm done with this. All right, I'm gonna call it there for today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow uh, to do all the wire brushing, cleaning up, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna get myself some white vinegar and some acetone to get rid of all the excess uh, grease and rust. Um, so I'll be back with you guys again. Thanks for watching. See you next time.